welcome back to my channel and welcome to the bind up which is a new series slash show on this channel where I take stuff that either is connected by a theme or is format or books and shows and songs and such that I don't really have an opinion to make a really long video on and smash them together like a bind up of a book. Just, it's a great show and today we're going to start on with comics and I'm going to go through all the comics I've read so far this year and some of the series that I need to catch up on. So please enjoy and I will see you guys in the next issue of the bind up. Hi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another edition of the bind up. So today's bind up episode is going to be all about audiobooks and the different audiobooks I have been reading as of recently. Recently gone more into audiobooks than I have ever before and the reason for that was because I have recently signed up with Scribd. I don't have a code but I did try Audible and for me paying $13 Australian which is the $8 US for Scribd and getting to listen to as many as audiobooks as I want versus having to pay $15 a month and only getting one and then paying $15 on top of that for any other audiobook. Really it's not really feasible for me so I much prefer Scribd but I have two audiobooks from Audible that I'd like to talk about. So without further ado let's get into it. So the first audiobook I want to talk about is the first one I ever started reading this year and it was A Thousand and One Stories. I, it's like this anthology about all these uh, East Asian and Asian folk tales just retold in different ways. It was for the Asian Readathon, which was in June. I really, really like some of the stories. I really, really didn't like some of the stories, and I, yeah, it was not my particularly favorite audiobook, but. It is one of the ones that got me started on this whole audiobook. I think it was like a full cast, like they had different narrators for different points in the stories and I really, really liked it, but it wasn't my favourite. Second is The Kiss Question by Helen Hong. And oh my god, not only is The Kiss Question like this brilliant book romance, the audiobook is just oh, it's so good. The narrator is so, so good and I loved it. I loved every second of that audiobook and just, I can't recommend The Kiss Quotient enough, really. And then the one that sort of tipped me over into the audiobook um, realm was Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. If you not have not read this book, A, what are you doing? Get on it. But B, the audiobook is so good. The narrator is A+. Plus. The fact that it, they, the narrator has to say Prince Harry poop uh, head emoji was just so, like, it was so funny. And the narrator for Alex is so perfect. And just, yes, yes, yes. So, like, some of the audiobooks are fantastic. Then other audiobooks that I have read so far that I want to talk about. One, which is one that um, Kaz was reading this book in a video and I picked it up on audio, audio and it is Warrior of the Wild by Tracy Levenseller. And this, this was so good. Like I didn't, ex it's, it's sort of like if Astrid, it was like if Astrid like went out and was on her own and she came across Hiccup and another like it, it just gave me that vibe and just the twist at the end of the book though when it's revealed who the fucking villain was like oh my god it was such I thought I saw I thought I saw it coming but I really didn't and just the lay down that the main character gives her father at the end of the book was so good and the narrator really put her heart into it and I really really appreciated that and that's why I love this audiobook because it just had this emotion behind it and I loved it so much. I also read Darius the Great is Not Okay. That audiobook is really really good. The story was really really sweet and just sort of about this half Persian half American boy fitting in with his family when he travels there and just was good, solid star, 
Solid All the Stars. It also had Sorcery of Thorns, the audiobook, which I highly recommend the audiobook for that. Sorcery of Thorns is one of those ones that's being really, really hyped at the moment, but it deserves the hype because it was just, it was so good. Oh, I loved it. It was so good. And the last two audiobooks I want to mention is um, When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandy M. Anon. This one, this book has actually been on my TBR for a while, for a couple of years since it came out, but I hadn't got around to reading it until I saw it was on Scribd on audio, on, on audio. The story is kind of your generic romancy story, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I really, really loved it. The narrator was good. I just, yeah, I love that audiobook. And then we've got Sherwood by Megan Spooner, which I love myself some good Robin Hood stories, okay? I can't can't deny this about myself. I love myself a good Robin Hood retelling. The romance between uh, Marion and Gisburn kind of forced in my opinion, but it it was a good story and a good audiobook. And the current audiobook that I'm reading is Don't Date Rosa Santos, and it's giving me all the vibes of like One Day at a Time, that Netflix show that needs like it, you need to watch it so good. Just gives me these like beachy sort of coastal vibes, and I'm really, really enjoying it. The narrator is really good. Another audiobook also that I really, really loved. And this is one book that I've been reading for like months now because it's been, it's like really big and really, really, the world is really, really hard to wrap your head around, is Kenshaw's Dart by Jacqueline Carey. Exactly how I pictured the main character sounding. Exactly. And just, oh, it was so good. Kenshaw's Dart is basically about the society that's run on uh, sex and BDSM and it's all just very much... God, oh my God, it's so good. It's about this um, girl who grows up in a slave sort of courtesan house and she's like she's like a servant from the age of nine and then when she gets to the appropriate age, they teach her about being in service to the goddess and just, it's so good. I highly recommend it. However, if you're not into really in-depth high fantasy or you're just not into really long political um, fantasy as well do not do not read it because the one the reason why I struggled with this until I got the audiobook was because there was a point with the story that we were going at a nice progression and then BAM that sweet sweet sexy political talk just shut the whole vibe down and I had to sort of get like force myself to read past it and once I got the audiobook that helped a lot so I would recommend reading it via the audio book if you're not really sort of into sitting down with like an 800 page book and reading it. But I want to read the second and third installments and I have them on here for when I'm ready to. Good. So, and yeah, those are all the audiobooks that I have been consuming. And that is it for this issue of The Bind Up. I hope you enjoyed yourself here and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a fabulous day. Bye!